What is up, everybody? I am Shazel Games, and I'm here with another episode of Guru Min, A Monstrous Adventure. In the last episode, we made our way through the Potato Shrine, Mananometer sh Fuck, I, I fucked it up. The Nanometer Shrine, uh, Potato Ruins. And, um... I ended the session that day because I had to go to bed and hide class in the morning. So... I have to play through all this again from my safe point. So, I'm probably gonna cut ahead. And if anything interesting happens, I will show you. So, yeah. Oh, I don't think I know I mentioned it before, but apparently we can collect junk in this game. Which is that little J icon down at the bottom. I'm like, I'll like put a square around it or something. But you can probably see it. Um that that little phantom guy dropped an item that we could pick up. And also there's a thing in here. I have to keep my eye out for that. Anyway, we're back to where we were. So, like I said in the last episode, we came to the Potato Ruins Nanometer Shrine because... What the fuck was his name? Oh, I don't remember his name. I'm so sorry. The, the little monster boy who looks weird. He was kidnapped. Hmm. We can break this. There we go. And we're here to save him at the Potato Shrine. Potato Ruins. They're the Potato Ruins. Also, it's really dumb how you start pushing stuff in this game. You literally just have to run into it. Or stand next to it, I forget. Yeah, you have to stand next to it. Alright, that's fine. Let's get up there. Now, let's progress with the story. And also, our new drill apparently shoots bolts out of it. Which is pretty bomb. Alright, let's move. Huh, nothing new happened in here. Just wanted to be like a cutscene or something. Are there any secret walls? No, there are not. There are pots up here. But yeah, this game is really cute. I'm, I'm glad that I didn't realize this was in my Steam account. Because it is a gem. What is this? Can I break this? There's something behind it. I can break it. Alright. This is a breakable wall. Yes, money! Alright, I have no idea what that did. Can I go over there? No, I can't. I run on the invisible wall that's there, though. There we go. Pop this. Oh. Let's see what that floaty thing does. Probably carries us over into the next room. Hello? There we go. Alright. No! Bad spider. Apparently those jump attacks are really effective. I'll deal with that spider in a second. There's something here. What is this? What? Okay, I'm sure we have to go that way at some point, so... I'm glad we found it, but... I don't know what it does. <laughs> that door, I mean. Alright, let's pull this and see what happens. Huh. Oh god, the little box guys are so cute. I still don't know why they spit fire, guys. Why? Like, who designed these guys to make them spit fire? Also, that attack was fucking awesome. Like, it's really satisfying to beat enemies up. You know what's not satisfying, though, is getting hit. Get up there, thank you. Get a little preview of what's to come, which are those little black ball guys. What's this guy to say to us? Something is written here. Target an enemy and jump. Notice the cursor will change. Hit Z or left click to charge the enemy in midair. If a targeted air attack hits, jump again immediately. If there's an enemy nearby, we'll perform another targeted air attack. Alright, let's try that. What could it mean? No choice but to try it. Well, I'm glad Parrot has a very... has a very positive outlook about trying new things. When the target mark changed color, there's attack. Alright. Alright, I got it. That's cool. When a targeted attack hits, I can jump again in midair and start another targeted attack. 
so I can stay in midair while jumping and attacking as long as there are enough enemies. Alright, let me collect this money first, because... Stickler. <laughs> this is like Sonic. This is a very Sonic S mechanic. The target attack. That's not something I expected to see in this game, but there it is. We are Perrin, the Sonic impersonator. Oh, that guy has a shield on his face. That's so cute. I have to murder him. Something is written here. Use charge attack to hit fan to hit phantoms using equipment. If the hits are successful, they will drop the equipment. Equipment that you knock off the phantom is called junk. Salvage it and use it to upgrade your own equipment. All right, so that explains what junk is. That's good. Cause that one guy dropped junk before. Die. Oh, well, I killed him. Cutscene time. Shh, everyone. Puku. That's his name. His name's Puku. You came to free me? Huh? Looks like you're doing okay. Puku, why didn't you just escape? That's not important. There's no time to talk about that. What now? The Phantoms are going to attack Monster Village. We have to save them. <laughs> wow. The cutscene was... This parent's acting was like, ugh. But something's happening. What? Those clouds moved in fast. Do you think it's going to rain? Those aren't clouds. That's dark mist. Dark mist? This is bad. I have to get to Monster Village. Hey! Wait up! Oh god. Monster Village is straight up gone. Holy shit. Damn, this place got fucking wrecked. Okay, job done. That was like too easy. Damn this, smell so diverse. Who cares if some of them got away? My makeup's a mess and I broke a nail. The prince! Well done, my little friends. Thank you. My brilliant plan is in motion, but there's still much to do. Do not fail me. Yes, your highness. You look as handsome as always, my prince. Oh! Stop looking at the prince like that. You! Do no, you think the prince likes you? Shut up, you noisy little fish. Rat. You stink. Silence! Oh, yes, no worries. <laughs> what's next, your highness? The plan. Elsewhere, enjoying my hospitality. Maybe you should go and find them. Sorry, no time to chat. I bid you adieu. Master. Hey, wait! We will meet 
again, human. I'm sure my friends are fine. Monsters can't die. I should go look for them. <laughs> Alright, well, Monster Village got fucking wrecked. Jesus. Um... Oh my god. This place is like literal ruins. It's really awkward jumping around in here. It's probably because you're not supposed to be jumping around in here. What's this? Eh. Well, we can't touch it, so... It's over here. I'm always a sucker for hidden stuff, but there seems to be none. Because it'd be really fucked up for them to hide hidden stuff in the ruins of your friend of your friend's village that got fucking wrecked. Like, my god. I believe Human Town is this way. TSA Village, I believe. Oh god, the pedophile. Perrin, that drill. Where'd you get it? Nice, huh? It's mine. That's quite an old model. Don't make him like that anymore. I do demolition, but I'm also good with machines. I may be able to get some parts for your drill. Really? All for free if you go on a date with me. Nope. I'll pay, thanks. Heh, <laughs> why don't we talk more about drills over a cup of tea? No. I don't want to talk with you about anything, to be honest. That way it looks boring. Also known as, we didn't feel like rendering what was over there, so we can't go over there. What do you guys say? I heard fans scream a bit ago. I came running and she threw knives and forks at me. Isn't that cute? <laughs> She's just shy. Or she thinks you're a creepy pedophile. Since you're here, do you need any drill parts? I do have some money, so I could buy some parts. Um, allows you to use forward slash attack. Allows you to use the drill tornado attack. Temporarily protects drill energy. And restores lost drill energy. Alright. Let's go for alpha parts. First, hit C for guard dash. Then, cir circle your character with the cursor, then hit Z to attack. I didn't do any of that, that was all the game. Um, drill level must be at least one, but less than two. Hit C or double right click to execute guard dash. I have to try that out. There we go, that's not hard. Wow, I'm glad to see they they took into consideration the townspeople watching you do this. What do you gotta say? Alright. Here, give me some stuff. Um, I can buy this just because I have the money for it. Soak your character with the curse and then hit Z to attack. Is that it? Alright, that doesn't seem too difficult. Yeah, that's easy. I don't have any money to buy anymore else. anything else, so let's see what Grandpa has to say. Talk to him. My mind could be playing tricks, but you seem a little down. I'm fine, Grandpa. All my friends just fucking died. No, stop talking. Thank you. What's this woman got to say? Poochie has been barking all day, seemingly at no one. But it's not the first time. He'll never make a good watchdog. The sad part is, he is a good watchdog. Poochie! Uh, cranky, are we? Thanks, Mom. Gotcha. I didn't even do anything. That did it all on its own. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, oh, buddy. Poco, you're safe. But, what are you doing? I know humans can't see you, but I still want to hide. Pretty shy for a dancer. It's hard to ignore my monster hiding instincts. Anyway, what about the village? The phantoms destroyed it. Oh no! I guess I'll go back and have to take a look. Wow, I just butchered that. I guess I'll go back and have a look. Go, po go, Poco, go! Be safe, I love you, you little dancing weirdo. Let's see if we can find anyone else around here. I still don't remember this guy's name. It's like Puko or something. There you are, you're safe. Puku, I was close. I was close, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't remember anyone's fucking name. Glad you're okay, Pyron. 
I returned as the village as returned as the village was being attacked. Pino Poco and I escaped, but we got separated. I see. Perrin, could you look for them? We already found Poco, but I haven't found Pico yet. This place is so unfamiliar, and I'm not good with humans. I just found Poco. Pino's still gone. Please find her. I'll be back at the village. That's dead. There's nothing in the village. Except ruins. Why doesn't anyone get that? What's this way? Alright, so we're not allowed to go that way. What's in here? We actually didn't go in this building. Oh, we can't go in that building. Never mind. What about discount shop? Do you have anything new for me? Oh, hello, Par, and welcome to this discount shop. Today, I've decided to start up a new upgrading service. Upgrading? Upgrading items makes them much more useful. In what way? Glad you asked me that. Look at these goggles. These are the normal ones. But once you upgrade, they become much more powerful. But they don't look any different, do they? It's not about the looks. Try it. You won't be sorry. This guy doesn't know. It is all about the looks. If you upgrade an item multiple times, it'll get even stronger. So I just pay you when I want to upgrade? No, no. You need junk to upgrade your items. Junk? That's right, just junk, not pockles. So the phantom junk has a purpose. Say again. Oh, nothing. Uh, if I have a chance, I'll upgrade something later. Great, see you. Upgrade equipment. Um, bring the junk that you've collected to this shop, and he'll help you upgrade your equipment. All right. The cake shop was robbed of all its cakes. I have to take precautions myself. Let's upgrade. Oh, we don't have enough junk. Well, shit. Well, let's see if we can buy anything with our pockles. Hmm. Perform a critical hit on an enemy and restore HP. All right. I don't have enough money for any of this. I do wish I bought the gas mask. We're, we're probably going to need it. Oh, no. Just gas damage halved. All right. Never mind. I thought it was like a field thing. Oh, anyway. Um, so apparently the cake shop's been robbed, but we'll check that out in the next episode. Poochie, why were you in the cake shop? What were you doing, you naughty dog? Pedophile, why were you in the cake shop? That was a dumb question. He was probably in the cake shop to look at the girl. Like a creep. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to go see what's wrong with Fan and her cakes that have been stolen. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Shazel Games, and this has been Guru Min, A Monster's Tale. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that shish. As you can see, this shit is on the screen. So, do it, bruh. Bye, guys.